Now, should you be copying the values to a custom field using a script now or use a scripted field? Now, let me try to explain this by showing you this uh, this uh, question that was asked on my, my, my own service desk. I'm, I'm really proud of this. I have a service desk now. Now, this question um, is all about... Uh, let, let me read this question. So, how to copy previous fixed version value to another custom field? Now, in this question, uh, the user is trying to ask this and I'm, I, I'm also trying to understand the requirements. So, basically what, uh, what this user is saying that I have, uh, here I am using filter subscription for fixed version update. Okay, so we're talking about fixed version and the fixed version is updated, changed. That can happen. Only updated fixed version value is shown in the email notification, but I want both previous and current fixed version values. Transition from or to. Okay, so basically uh, you're talking about a fixed version which is getting changed and you want to keep track of it. Totally, uh, totally valid request. So I am thinking of copying the old fixed version to a new custom field. Here I am planning to use uh, script runner. Does anyone has uh, do anyone does, does anyone has written a, a script uh, to copy the previous fixed version to another custom field? Now I understand that you want to keep track of the old values, and in this case you're talking about fixed version. It can be done if you want to copy this value from uh, your current fixed version or the, ver the, the, the fixed version that was there earlier before you operated the ticket or issue or bug. Uh, you can copy it to a custom field. That can happen. But I would say that you can also use and uh, take a look at change history. Now I have talked about change history. So for example, if you're looking at an issue, uh, this, is, this is an issue by the way. If you go to the history tab, you will see all the things that are happening on the on the issue, any change, any update. And the thing is that when you when you do this, uh, when you when you look at the change history, of course, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, the server version because I guess this question was asked on the server version. You can do the same thing, similar things on cloud uh, using a change log. But what I did and what I have talked about few times on my channel is uh, looking at the change history and if you look at the change history you can always find uh, the value that was changed number one the previous value which is there in something called as get from I mean there is a method called get from that you can use and you can also do something like get to so basically when you're looking at change history and if you do if you if you're using this method called get all change items you can focus on, you can further, because it is groovy and uh, when you're working with groovy, things are extremely simple. You can basically uh, filter this for a specific field. So if you look at this code, it will print each and everything, each and every item in the in the change history. But you can of course focus on, let us say, fixed uh, version, for example. And uh, when you're looking at change history, you are not really copying the information, the same information that you already have somewhere in the issue to um, another field because that, that is, I believe, uh, duplicacy because you have this information already in the change history manager. What you can do instead is uh, use uh, a scripted field and uh, in the scripted field, you can maybe display uh, the previous fixed version uh, that you had on the issue. And uh, if you're all, if if you're if you just want to if you just want to basically report on it, I guess you can because uh, the the information will be fetched from the change history uh, whenever the issue is uh, viewed or whenever the issue is uh, displayed somewhere in the search. And copying it to a custom field can also work, but I don't really think. I mean, it depends on the use case, but. Uh, if you just want to pull this information and display it somewhere, then uh, do it from, I mean, use the change history manager. That I think is probably 
a better way and uh, and do think about it if you want to copy to a custom field you can i mean uh, as you mentioned mentioned in your ticket you are looking for a post function so you still need to use tng stream manager i guess to copy this information to a custom field so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much